Leather Rock here. Welcome to my channel. Well, today is my first garden video of the season, and I'm so stoked. You want to know why I'm stoked besides the fact that it's an absolutely beautiful day? But I was told that I have not only the garden plot that I had last year, but I'm having the garden plot of my dead friend Teresa, whose cat I adopted. And there is also probably this grouchy little old lady who died, who uh, I have to, I just spoke to the head guy and I am just so over the moon excited about this. Now, I have to be really careful how I film because there are some neighbors who do not have garden plots who are kind of in the vicinity and I don't want to attract attention and they seem like they're a little not friendly, you know what I mean? But here's what an empty garden plot looks like. I just used a hammer to stake this first pole in the ground. I got so many seeds this year. Uh, I think if you saw one of the later, earlier videos I did, you know the kind of seeds I got. But in case you didn't see that video, hold on a second. I have a lot of my seeds here with me. I'm certainly not going to plant them in the ground. I'm going to take my seeds and I'm going to start most of them in my house in pots and things. But when I was at the dollar store a couple days ago, I got 15 packets of seeds. Uh, not to mention, I have seeds saved from last year. I have two kinds of tomato seeds saved from last year. Whenever I uh, get a slice of tomato in a sandwich or something, I'll take seeds from it. Whenever somebody brings home sweet peppers, I'll take the seeds from it. Uh, I have been harvesting seeds for years. I probably, I know I have other seeds from last year. Um, a lot of them though I gave away to people, uh, especially if I think that, like I remember uh, what, the last time I had a garden before I had this one, when I knew I was moving, I left behind a lot of my seeds to one of my friends who has a green thumb. And matter of fact, I have reason to believe he's dead, which, you know, really sucks. But anyway, uh, to recap, I'm going to show you ideas of what I'm going to be growing this year. Oh, oh, geez. You know, it's kind of windy and things are starting to blow around. Uh, yeah. I'm going to be growing green peppers. I'm going to be growing, hopefully, turnips. I'm going to try my hand at sweet corn, especially since I have all these extra plots. See, now I don't have to worry about shading up the people's crops because the out, out, the outer layer ones, uh, they will also help to make it more intimidating for people that don't belong here to go stealing people's crops. Two different kinds of corn, uh, some wildflowers that I wanted to grow specifically in Teresa's area because I want to have some kind of a memorial to her. Um, evening primrose is a flower that the oil has uh, medicinal and skin care benefits. So I would like to grow this for its skin care uh, benefits if I can find a way to do that with the flowers. I don't know, maybe I'm biting off more than I can chew. But at the very least, flowers encourage bees, which encourages more fruits and vegetables for the world. So I'm all for that. Um, Rutgers tomatoes. I really hope that I have some kind of tomato that's bigger than a, a cherry tomato. That, that really sucks for all the work that we put in and the love, because it's love and work, to grow our crops. But you get these tiny little tomatoes, and I would like uh, things that not ripen all at the same time, but ripen throughout. So that, I mean, cause what are you going to do with 50 times more food than you can eat, and you can't even give it away to your friends and stuff? Oh, wax beans. I grew them very successfully last year green beans, uh, more wildflowers that I think I'm going to have largely in Teresa's plot, uh, butter crunch lettuce, uh, broccoli. I don't have good luck with broccoli. I don't know what it is. Now, I'm going to be concerned about the caterpillars. And another thing that I was worried about before, before when I didn't know I would have these extra plots, they say that you really should practice crop rotation. If you grow the same thing in the same soil, uh, whatever disease resistance plants had, they don't have anymore, and it's easier for the critters that prey on them to eat them. And I don't want that. Like, just like I noticed the first two harvests of my collard greens and my mustard greens, they were very large leaves, but the third harvest, 
they were only about here and they got these caterpillars on them so I actually had to bring dig those plants up and bring them indoors and grow them indoors so that they wouldn't get caterpillars and even then eventually those little caterpillars found them so uh, now that I know that I have these extra spots I can grow different things here because what I grew here I can put elsewhere so I'm just so stoked that I have this extra space I really love growing things I find it very very fulfilling uh, so okay this plot here where the bag is this was mine and this one here with the steak on it this was the grouchy little old ladies and oops I'm going to show you if I can do this without stepping and falling and breaking my computer which would really suck this thing right here this is Teresa's and my plans for this is I would like to grow some sunflowers because they are nice and big and they would give stalks for beans to grow on and Teresa loved flowers she liked zinnias and marigolds and things and I got zinnia seeds and I got all kinds of wildflower seeds and I was thinking I would re oh my goodness do you want to see a friend of mine that you've seen before would you like to be in my video this is my friend Saul Goldberg oh the <laughs> colonel you're alive on my YouTube channel I was just showing him uh, you know what I have three garden plots now I'm not dressed right for you well oh like I am look at me do I look like a fashion plate my mother says I look like Patty Bear. anyway we're going to go to fruits and vegetables this is my good friend here he's sometimes my security he's a veteran he's just so right he loved my father he's all about the USA and he's one of my best, best friends so you guys give him some respect because he's a Viet Vietnam veteran but we love our veterans on my channel 32 years in the Marine Corps 32 years in the Marine Corps damn Colonel you know this, this guy is for real you guys and I still work and he still works and we're not we don't talk about how old anybody is none of us are spring chickens around here but this guy he uh, bench press probably with the best of them he's tough he's strong he's fit because when you work when you don't work you rust when you work you stay in shape and this man is living proof so but I'm proud to say he's my friend and I got three gardens give me, give me, give me some. I got back to and, work and Cassie says hello oh, yeah, oh by the way speaking of Cassie this is the man that told me about Cassie he told me about Teresa being found dead and as soon as and I figured the cat was call, dead already I called a bunch of animal shelters and they told me that Cassie was there so if it not for this man here Cassie would be dead right now so you are a hero to me and Cassie would give you a big kiss and a purr and you guys want to see Cassie well you won't over there. yes okay I'm gonna show you Cassie Cassie's on the wall mural I have to show this stuff really carefully because I don't want to you know be stupid or anything but does this cat look familiar to you this is Cassie okay if you, all right good to see you okay if you like my videos feel free to give it a thumbs up if you like me and my content I'd love to have you subscribe I place new videos three times a week for your viewing pleasure and I would love to have you join me on my adventures until then talk to you soon bye